excited to start another day. I know I am. It's one of those rare mornings where I get back to my roots and I go do runyon. I used to do it all the time and we're gonna go do it this morning. I don't know what's coming over me. I do have like just a lot of errands to run that you guys are gonna come along for. And that first stop is runyon. That'll just like kick off my productivity. Ooh, my fridge just stopped. Or it stopped humming. It didn't stop, it's just stopped humming. Anyways, I am feeling a little tired. We're gonna start off with a little baby, baby coffee to motivate me to do some of these things. Maybe this isn't that small of a coffee. Maybe this is some people's regular size, but who's ready? Let's go. in a minute. Hiking wasn't nearly as hard as I thought it would be. I guess because I did just go hiking in North Carolina. But I have been walking every day. Wasn't really struggling going up. Felt like I would feel it a little bit more. Music I've been listening to, a little bit of Tortured Poets Department, but there's not that many upbeat songs, so not too much of that. Some Charlie XCX. I'm thinking of all the errands that I have to do and what I should do first. And I feel like we should do the car wash first. All of the vacuums were taken at the car wash and there was a line of people waiting and I was just like, I, I'm not doing all this. We'll do it on our own time at home, but I just like could not wait in that line. I just need to keep the momentum going. I'm getting gas right now. <sighs> oh, I just finished. When I first started driving, my dad told me I should never let my car go under a fourth of a tank. And I don't know if that was just because he didn't want me getting close to empty and he just wanted me to be safe because I was just like, you know, a new driver and he just didn't want me like testing the limits or if that's like an actual thing. Some people say that once you get under a fourth of a tank, your engine has to like work harder, like use the gas because like the gas tank is low. I guess it just like puts more strain on the overall system. I'm not sure. So I always get gas when I hit about a fourth of a tank. I mean, I have gone under it before, but I'm pretty good about it. I'm like paranoid ever since he told me that. You know when your parents like tell you lies as children and you like still believe it? I can't let my car go under a fourth of a tank. Okay, this gas station is so crowded right now. I have to leave. Oh wait, where are we going next? Stop beeping. I think we're gonna go to Goodwill next. I have a few things that I'm gonna donate. Next, I'm returning an Amazon package, but I need to get the QR code. It was some yarn that I was gonna use. I ended up kind of abandoning the project. I might use the yarn eventually, but I have so much yarn that like, if it's not touched, I'm gonna return it. I need to stop collecting yarn. The project I was working on just, you know what? It wasn't as cute as I envisioned and cutting my losses on that. Okay, we're at the most fun part of the errands, Target. I want some snacks, I need some lemonade, I'm gonna get some cold brew. My list is just very much drink and snack heavy. So we're just gonna get a bunch of drinks and snacks. I also have a Target gift card for $25. This bag is so heavy. Target haul. Cheez-Its, reduced fat. I love the reduced fat more than the regular because they're crunchier. If I eat these and then I eat original, the difference is night and day. I buy two at a time because I always like to have a backup for when I run out of this one. More predictable snacks, lemonade. I'm addicted to lemonade. I can't go a single evening without lemonade. I don't know what to tell you. Two things of cold brew, one Khalifa Farms blonde roast and one in the medium roast. Dots, honey mustard pretzels. Try these if you haven't tried these. Original Chex Mix, some Peachios, an Arizona tea. I was trying to find one in the can. They didn't have one in the can. It's almost the weekend, so I got a six pack of Modelo and a six pack 
of Red Stripe because it's Wednesday. It's really not almost the weekend. It's about to be almost the weekend. That's my Tarte haul. I do need to clean my house, but I'm also feeling like that's not my journey right now. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow. I'm not really feeling like doing that today. I feel like I want to get in the shower. I have like several of these Nike sports bras in mediums and I have them in smalls. When I used to be really into running in college, I started buying size smalls because I used to wear just like two mediums. Like I used to double up on the mediums because like my boobs would bounce when I was running, okay? But then I solved the problem by, oh, I'll just buy a size small and then I can just wear one bra because I was getting really tired of doubling up two mediums just to like feel like my boobs weren't bouncing. Anyways, Runyon isn't that intense of a workout. Like I am still just like walking. I'm not running. But when I do Runyon, I sometimes do like to wear the size small because it's more than just like a leisurely walk around the neighborhood. When I do wear a size small bra and I have it on for multiple hours, like it kind of starts to hurt because it's not the right size. All this to say, I've had this bra on too long. I need to get out of this because it is hurting me. The elastic band is hurting me. I hate when I get like this where I'm like actually so exhausted and I feel so gross that I do want to shower. But like the thought of like standing up in the shower and like having to wash my hair feels so exhausting. I don't know if I can even do it. Why do I keep getting texts from like a barber shop telling me to confirm my appointment? Like it must be spam, but it's also... <gasps> I think Instagram reels is better than TikTok. I don't even scroll on TikTok anymore. I mean, that might not be a shock to you guys. I don't post on TikTok hardly anymore. And I don't even scroll on it because I just like can't even open the app. Instagram Reels, it's an acquired taste. Instagram Reels is so much better. Sometimes standing in the shower is like the most difficult thing a person can do. <laughs> I'm tired though. I just want to lay in bed. Do you guys like my new sweatshirt? Go sports. I have two packages. I already know what this one is. It's the Tortured Poets Department cardigan. And like, it is very boring. A lot of people are like, okay, that's just like a gray sweater. Like there's no patches on the elbows. Like all there is is this patch right here that says the Tortured Poets Department. And it was $70, which is too much for this boring of a cardigan. I'm collecting them at this point. I can't not buy it. I love sweaters. I knit sweaters. I collect sweaters at this point. I make them, I collect them. I'm not gonna not buy one of the cardigans. So I bought this. Actually, let's put this on. I will say there's no patches on this, but the buttons are pretty cute. I feel like the other cardigans, the buttons are just plain. These are bluey brown tortoise shell. So at least we have that going for us. Yes. Hill House sent me a stunning, gorgeous gift. This box is so pretty. I don't want to get rid of this box. Oh my God. <gasps> In this box is a pillow. Gorgeous pillowcase with my monogram in these blue flowers. This reminds me of, I used to have a pillow on my bed when I was a little girl. It said my name and it said my birthday and it was like a tiny little white pillow. But yeah, I guess I got it when I was a baby because it was always on my bed growing up and I still have it, it's still at home. But this is reminding me of that pillow a little bit minus, you know, my birthday on here. But I love these little mini pillows to decorate your bed with. Have you ever seen something that's more me? This is really exciting because I used to have white sheets on my bed that had my monogram on them. It had like a royal blue monogram. They got old and they ended up ripping. And so I ended up just getting plain white sheets from Target and they don't have my monogram on them. And I've been wanting more monogram sheets. I've had monogram sheets my entire life. I am gonna go ahead and be from Tennessee. I'm really excited about this because I finally have a monogram on my bed again. So my bed is feeling a little bit more like me again. Let's go put this on my bed. Oh my gosh. It is looking so precious. Oh, it looks so cute y'all. I just don't have any food in the house. When do I have food in the house? I mean, I have breakfast food. I have like bacon and eggs and cheese and bread for toast and shit like that, but I need not breakfast food. I need a salad or I need a sandwich. I was kind of snacking on a lot of my snacks that I got from the hummus guys at the farmer's market. I got like hummus and pita chips and olive tapenade and falafel and artichokes. I was snacking on all of that, but there's something missing and what's missing is I need chicken. I get in these moods where I'm just like, okay, 
okay, I have to have, I have to have some meat. One time I talked about on this channel, I read Beach Read by Emily Henry and I wasn't really the biggest fan of it. And a lot of y'all did not like that opinion. I'm very sorry. I did not fall in love with it. Did I think it was the worst book ever written? No, I didn't really like it that much. It wasn't doing it for me. And that's not a crime. That's an opinion. And a few years ago, I tried to read People We Meet on Vacation. Couldn't even finish it. Maybe she's just like not for me. I do want to like her. There are so many booktubers that I follow that are addicted to Emily Henry. And I just feel like, I'm like, what am I missing? You guys will be happy to know that I am listening to the audiobook for book lovers. I'm not hating it. Do I think it's five stars? No. I do like a romance book, but I'm also realizing like maybe I don't. I like books about love. I love books about dating. I do want to read a romance book. Maybe the issue is when it becomes cringy or when it like kind of ends in too neatly of a bow. When it's all tied together like too perfectly, I think that just like, it just like doesn't feel like real life maybe. When it comes to books, movies, and songs, I love when all three of those things explore dating and love and relationships breakups, what have you. But romance books, rom-coms, and love songs, those are never my favorite. Songs when they're like, oh, I love you and everything's perfect, not my favorite. Books when they're romance books and like obviously there's gonna be like a little bit of like issues within that, but then they tend to be resolved and they're like, oh, we're in love and like we're gonna, you know, we're gonna try this thing out. We're gonna be together forever, not my favorite. Movies, rom-coms where it's like, will they, won't they? And then they get together and it's like, oh, we live a happy, happy life together, not my favorite. I think maybe I just don't like happy endings. I love Taylor Swift songs about love and dating, but like they're there's turmoil in it. Or movies like The Worst Person in the World, for instance, where it's like, it's about love and dating, but like, there's a lot of shit happening. I might be a bad person. You might be a bad person. And same with books. Maybe I don't like Emily Henry because I, I don't like happy endings. Oh my God. I am just a fucking pessimist, I think. That's not good. <laughs> oh God. I think I just figured it out. Ooh, sorry y'all. I hate to tell you. Today we selected a Chinese chicken salad. And I already poured myself a glass of lemonade. Pretty early to be pouring my glass of lemonade. I'll probably have a second one later this evening. You know, I normally like to have one after the sun sets. And neither should your clients. Fine, I say. From now on, my bagel guy comes first, but you're a close second. I am wearing an exercise skirt, but I think I'm gonna change into my pajama pants, eat, listen to the rest of this book, and maybe we'll do like a face mask or something later. Because I did do a face mask last night, and I have several face masks, and I just like forget that like you can do those. And I remembered to do one last night, and I was like, oh my god, this is so fun when you like remember that you can do those things. This headband isn't the cutest thing in the world, but it holds my hair back while I wash my face and I do a face mask. Pretty helpful. I don't know what face mask I wanna do. Radiant Complexion Multivitamin Mask. This kind of cute packaging, it looks like a little pill. Fuck it, let's try this one. Sometimes I get grossed out by how sopping wet these masks are, but I guess that's like the whole point. Oh, but sometimes they're like really fucking wet. Okay, like relax, like why are you so wet? I liked the one I did last night more. It was like a more fun texture. This is just like a piece of paper. Paper. The one last night was like jelly and it was blue and it was sparkly. I wish I'd saved that one for y'all. Are you guys gonna be scared of me if I wear this? A little scary. I kind of want to pick out my next book. Let's go look at my bookshelf. I kind of want to read one of these books that I bought in my Barnes and Noble haul that I did a few videos back. Dolly's book, which I still haven't read and I love Dolly and I feel like I should read this one. Or I just have a good feeling about this one. I think one of these two. Should I stop? I actually don't like talking with this face mask on. Let's go look at the bookshelf out in my dining room. Face mask keeps like sliding down over my mouth. I'm really so sorry. Let's go look out there, but I'm I'm thinking one of these. Yeah, yeah, I'm thinking one of those, y'all. None of these, none of these are convincing me. Oh, you know we're doing our nightly glass of lemonade, y'all. Lemonade plus my neighbor, actually my neighbor's girlfriend, she's always baking stuff and she baked key lime pie and she gave me some because I let her borrow my KitchenAid mixer and she gave me some dessert as a thank you. I have already eaten some of it. Everything she bakes is like significantly better than anything I've ever baked. So I think I'm gonna eat this and drink my lemonade. We have a lot of citrus going on here. I don't know what deficiency I'm struggling with, but as we know, I am addicted to citrus, especially in the evening time. So lemonade plus key lime, kind of a lethal combination. I'm really excited to eat this. This has been on for like 20-ish minutes. I definitely like the jelly masks more than I like the sheet masks. Wait, the one I used last night was, don't mind me digging it out of the trash. This is the one I used last night that I really liked. It was by Patchology. It was really cute. I mean, I'm not digging the actual face mask out of the trash because like that's going to gross me out. You know, I never do face masks. I never remember to do face masks and suddenly I have such a strong opinion on them. I guess I can take off my headband now. 
This crust is so good. Wow, she's so good at baking. I'm obsessed with my neighbor's girlfriend. That is really satisfying my citrus craving. I'm washing it down with this, something's wrong with me. Anytime my family goes to the beach, like we were having Publix key lime pie, like that's what my brother sometimes just like has for his birthday cake because he like loves it so much. This is just as good, if not better. The crust on this is definitely thicker. I think I picked this book. I didn't even talk about finishing that Emily Henry book. I think she's good and fine. She's not my favorite author ever. And we're all allowed to have our favorite authors. Dolly is one of my my favorite authors. I did not even tell you guys what this book was about and I know that you could Google it, but I feel like I should give a brief synopsis, okay? This book is about a guy named Andy. He is dumped by his girlfriend named Jen. He's just sort of like reeling from this breakup. He's a struggling comedian. He doesn't know why they broke up. He's trying to sort through all of these emotions. He's out of an apartment. Like he is just really going through it. And so you're kind of like in his head, seeing him go through this heartbreak, trying to figure out where they went wrong, wondering if they should get back together, wondering if it's for the best that they broke up. All of those emotions that one would go through after a serious relationship ends. And um, yeah, that's that's what it's about. Andy trying to figure out why his girlfriend dumped him. He has no clue what's going on through her mind, but we as the reader get to see kind of everything that he's going through, so. It is already about 11 p.m. I was scrolling on my phone for a while, but I'm gonna try to read for an hour. Or, you know, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna try to start the book. No pressure. We're just gonna try to read for a teeny tiny little bit. This is told from the perspective of the man in the relationship, and I'm really intrigued to see that because she's normally writing from the female perspective. Slash, I feel like this is the kind of book that probably might not have a happy ending. I have no clue. I want a story about love and dating, but I don't want a romance book per se. Is it bad that I want books to not end happy? <laughs> I'm realizing some things about myself in this video. I'm not sure how to feel. I don't think that's bad. I think, no. If you guys can even tell but they were doing a lot of yard work in my backyard there is a lot of dirt but before this was all grass they had to dig up our whole backyard and around our front yard and replace all the pipes because our plumbing has been awful since we moved in here they kept just like putting a band-aid on it putting a band-aid on it and then i think our landlord was told that she actually had to replace the pipes she couldn't just like keep doing these like little fixes they needed to like redo the whole fucking thing i did film a little portion out here where you could kind of see all of the lumps of dirt now you can't see all of the piles of dirt because they fixed it already, but you can you can definitely see that there used to be grass here. Anyways, good morning. I did not read that much last night. I think I read like 30 pages, so I don't really have anything to say. I was hoping I would have more to say, but it was late and I wanted to go to bed. I think I'm gonna read today. I'm gonna pick up around the house. I have some laundry to do. I stripped my bed, so I need to start that load.
farms again. What can you do? It's a few days later and I have finished this book. I think that the last 40 pages went so hard. The last 40 pages like made this entire book like a half a star better. I think being in the head of the man who's going through a breakup was really interesting, but it like wasn't where I wanted to be. I think it was good, but it wasn't where I wanted to be. The last 40 pages took this from like a three, three and a half star to a four star. Like I love the last 40 pages. I don't really think it's a spoiler, but I don't really want to say like what I like about the last 40 pages because like it is the end of the book. So I don't want to like say specifically what I liked about it. This book is good. I would recommend it. The last 40 pages made a good book slightly better. I liked the last 40 pages. I hope her next book is written from the perspective of a female because though it was really interesting to listen to Andy's point of view, I wanted to be in Jen's head the whole time. And that's probably because I am a woman. Jen's a woman. I feel like I can just relate to her a little bit more. Being in Andy's head, I think, you know, it was interesting. Maybe it allowed for some growth. You know, maybe I learned a little bit more about how men think. I don't know, probably still still don't know fucking shit when it comes to that. And this book really proves what I was saying earlier in the video where I like books that explore love and dating, but I don't like it having a happy ending necessarily, or I don't like it being tied in a little neat bow. And I'm not describing necessarily like a cliffhanger. Like I don't want a cliffhanger in a book. I like being left with some sort of like doubt or like the characters like still questioning their choices. I feel like with a lot of romance books, it's like, oh, like we're in love and we're gonna make this work. And you could assume like, oh, okay, they're gonna be together forever. Even if you like don't necessarily know that, like it's kind of implied like, and then they lived happily ever after. I like when books like this, it's like, maybe they did make the right choice. Maybe they didn't. Maybe they could be together forever. Maybe they end up hooking up again. Maybe they never see each other again. Like it's more of like real life in that way, because even if you're in love with someone and you decide to be with them forever, or you decide to not be with them forever, like you still have ongoing issues. I hope that makes sense. I would read this book. I love Dolly Alderton's writing style. I love her thoughts on love and dating. It feels very real to me. It doesn't feel like like this, you know, perfect rom-com kind of story. It feels very rooted in reality. It's something that is very easy to relate to if you have ever struggled with dating in your 20s, 30s, what have you. She writes very relatable books that it almost feels like a friend telling you about their life. I love her for that. I really liked this book. The last 40 pages specifically, like read this book just to get to the end of this book because like it was so fun to like get to that point. And I was like, oh my God, she's really doing this. Like I'm really loving this. This book is interesting the whole time, but the last 40 pages, y'all. It really does something at the end. Read it, don't read it. It's up to you. This is the end of this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. You can follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Letterboxd, Snapchat, Twitter, which is now X, and Goodreads. You can follow me on Goodreads and you can read my review for this book and see what I rated it, even though you could probably, it's pretty much the same shit as what I just said, but follow me on Goodreads. And with that, I think this is goodbye. Oh God, I'm gonna be late. Oh, my roommate from high school is outside waiting for me. We're about to go hike Runyon and go get lunch. And I, I need to go.